much. Well, state education leaders will soon be tallying enrollment numbers to determine how the pandemic is impacting K-12 attendance. We've heard stories of students falling off the radar or dropping out to take jobs so they could support their families during the pandemic. In our Back to School series, Learning Curve, Joe Dana takes a look at how schools are trying to track down lost students and what the state is doing to ensure kids return to the classroom. There are many reasons why the state has seen a drop in enrollment as it begins a new school year. The challenge for educators, track down students who still may be lost in the system. Hi there. We're used to seeing school principals on campus, not at our doorstep. I have some information I'd love to share with you. But Holiday Park Elementary's principal and staff recently canvassed the neighborhood, visiting 1,900 homes in the school's boundaries. It was, it was pretty exciting because we hadn't seen a lot of our families um, in person until we went out that day. An outreach effort designed to retain students, compete with charter schools, and rescue students who fell off the radar during the pandemic. In Cartwright, we did have a few that was slipped through, but most of that was because we couldn't find them through their address. Uh, but we did a lot of home visits and made a lot of phone calls. Statewide, more than 38,000 children disappeared from virtual and physical classrooms last year. Some kids moved to private schools or homeschooling. An unknown number stopped attending altogether. We are working closely with our school counselors across the state as well as superintendents. State Superintendent Kathy Hoffman says high school age students are at greatest risk of leaving school. We are worried that if students do not re-enroll those older high school age students, essentially they would be considered dropouts. What is the state doing to try to make sure those students get back into school? Over the past month to two months, we launched the Arizona Ready for School campaign. We have invested over a million dollars in a public messaging campaign, TV ads, radio ads. The state also invested COVID recovery dollars into creating 140 new counselor and social worker positions. Hoffman's office will have a better idea in the coming weeks how enrollment looks for the new school year. We will change our strategies as needed as we look at the enrollment data. In the meantime, schools like Holiday Park hope thousands of combined hours knocking doors and making phone calls are an investment that yields higher enrollment numbers. Joe Dana, 12 News. Our Learning Curve series continues tomorrow as we explore the reasons why many teachers have decided to leave the classroom following the pandemic. You can find the story that aired this morning and all our Learning Curve stories on 12news.com slash learning curve.